Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a while since I've made a a video, and um, this is this isn't any this isn't gonna be anything like um, in depth or anything. It's gonna be more like in the style of a uh, Ola England rig of the day type of video. That's all I really have time for right now. So um, yeah, I recently acquired this arachnid cab four by twelve with Eminence Texas Heats. And let me just read off a little bit of the specs from the Arachnid Cabinets website. <clears throat> so it's a full grade Baltic Birch construction dovetail joinery. It has the Eminence Texas Heats off four speakers. Uh, usually, his go to is the two Texas Heats and the two Man of Wars. He, uh, I think he like swears by that one with his um with his company, but um. This one was a second-hand cabinet, and um, the 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 one who purchased it originally, um, I guess wanted all four speakers as Texas heats, but um, anyways, uh, spring recessed handles, so it's all fucking like um, uh, you know, like legit, not like uh. This Marshall that I have over here, which has like plastic handles, but uh, I still love the Marshall. But um, yeah, so um, it has removable casters, rubber feet also. So if you want to get rid of the casters, you still have the rubber feet there. And um, it has a Duratex coating, and um, it's a thirty by thirty with a depth of fifteen inches. So it's a pretty fucking big cabinet. It uh towers over uh my Marshall lead nineteen sixty cabinet. And um yeah, so um I'll be playing through this uh Schechter Apocalypse C seven, which has a Nazgul and a sen sentient in the neck into the Shure SM fifty seven. And um, the head I'll be using today is a uh, PV6505, and I'm at the I'm using the low gain section of the input, and I'm boosting it with the Reaper's pedal, Pandemonium Overdrive, which is like an OCD full tone type of overdrive pedal, and then it's just going into a MXR Smart Gate, into a Super Chorus by Boss, into a Carbon Copy Deluxe MXR. So. Um, yeah, I uh right off the bat I noticed that it has a huge resonance and bass response, but it's still like very tight. You're gonna hear that like right away. But um yeah, let me just start jamming. And uh I mean if you guys are interested in a more in depth video of me, like maybe like uh doing a track or something with like some drums and bass, let me know in the comics comment section below. But um for now this is just a quick uh tone test of my new cabinet that I just recently got second hand. So, um, yeah, let's start fucking riffing. <laughs> As you can tell, it sounds fucking huge, and um, it feels good to play. The response is, like, instant, so it's, like, you know it's tight if you could really feel the instant response, you know? Like, it's not loose or anything, and it still sounds huge. I don't know if that's... I'm pretty sure it's the cabinet and the Eminence Texas Heats. I know they're, they're a little more higher wattage, and... um. 
I have the post gain at two, so that's that's nothing. Like I I, I can't really crank it any further in in, in my uh <laughs> my current situation at my home. But um, yeah, it sounds fucking monstrous, and I love it. And um, I'm not sure if I want to switch out the Texas heats. I'll probably keep two of them, and I'm really interested in trying those DB seventy sevens, the Mick Thompson Eminence signature speakers which is more like a a lower mid v30 i believe it would be it would be cool to hear those in an x pattern with the texas heat says um the texas heat sound pretty fucking good dude i've never i've never really messed with them but um from the short time i've had with this cabinet with and the, with the texas heats in them it sounds it sounds great but it would be nice to have at least an X pattern of some variation going on as they're all, all four speakers or the Texas seats. But, um, this thing is, I, I got to point out that it's heavy. Like it has to be at least a hundred pounds or maybe a little more, like at least 110 pounds. Um, you, uh, immediately when I unboxed it, when I, when it got, when it got here, um, I could just tell that, it was fucking built like a tank, dude. And um it it makes my Marshall 1960 just feel so flimsy and kind of cheap. I mean, I know the the handles are plastic and all that. And um maybe some of it might be particle board. I'm not, I'm not sure. But um this this arc arc uh arachnid cabinet is definitely not using any cheap construction. I'm, I, 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 I think it's, I swear it's like all oh, fucking Baltic birch all over, dude. It's, it's heavy. And I mean, it, it, um, I believe Arachnid's from California. So it shipped from California and I bought it from a, a store in North Carolina and I live in, at the tip south of Texas, like right at the border close to Mexico. So it's like, if it survived all that from California to North Carolina to now to Texas, like, and it's mint, like, I, I'm pretty sure it got dropped a few times somewhere along, somewhere along its um, life time. And... It looks mint. Like, it has a couple of things, but nothing, like, major. And it looks like this thing could survive going through hell and back for sure. But uh, let me do a little more jamming. Let me do a little less talking. <laughs> let me engage the boss chorus pedal so you can hear how that sounds. <laughs> string is out of tune yeah so i recently just i just barely uh swapped new strings right before this right before shooting this video so i knew i knew the guitar was going to be going out of tune but hopefully y'all don't mind this is just a sloppy me chilling jamming nothing too crazy serious quality youtube video I guess it's just me talking about my excitement of uh, acquiring such a cabinet. And um, yeah, jamming through it. <laughs> I'm gonna use a split coil on the, on the pulling the knob of, that's <laughs> one of the features on the, the guitar. So I'm gonna split coil. Let's hear how that sounds with uh, the Boss Super Chorus. <laughs> Let's go. 
Okay, it wasn't even pulled up. Now, now it's a single coil. <laughs> That was with a single coil, and this is just back to full humbucking. <laughs> This thing sounds huge. I still have the boss chorus on, by the way. So uh, that's going to turn off the boss chorus. And then let's see how it does with a little more like technical, speedy, death metal type riffs, I guess. <laughs> fucked up a little bit i haven't i'm kind of out of practice uh i'm out of practice right now but um yeah that was a little more fast intricate i guess death metal -y type riffs and um yeah it it fucking it nails that sound it nails that response that tightness that that genre requ requires so yeah erected cabinet definitely nails what it's aimed towards but um, let's do some lead kind of stuff with uh, the MXR Carbon Copy and the Boss Super Chorus. And I'll go to the neck position and let's see how that sounds.
super out of practice, but um, yeah, that's some riffage and a little bit of shreds, kind of sloppy, but what it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, it gives a, a good representation in this short little, well, probably lengthy by now, since I rambled so much, but um, yeah, I hope this helped someone out. Arachnid Cabinets, check them out. Fucking high quality, like you really have to have one in person to really appreciate what it has to offer and um yeah i know this is a simple setup just a single sm57 single track hopefully you get a good representation of um what i'm hearing in the room it's kind of hard to translate that across on a youtube video but um yeah i hope you have a great day and i hope this helped someone out there maybe if they're undecided on purchasing a arachnid cabinet i think they're built to order so you know having custom things like that it's kind of like oh there's not too much out there about it i don't know they look fucking sick but um will i be will they look as equally as will they be as equally as they look as in terms of like quality and yes like Holy shit, like, you, you just have to get one, like, to really appreciate it. But, um, yeah, uh, the only other cabinets that I have to uh, compare it to in terms of build quality and um, construction and all that would be my Marshall 1960 that I mentioned earlier, which has, like, plastic handles, and it's like, dude, really? Like... <laughs> that's not gonna uh hold up but um i mean touring mus musicians use them of course but um they'd probably get them like for free if if anything happens like they get replacement parts and all that for us budget people like we're like shit dude like i just spent a thousand bucks on this fucking marshall and it has plastic handles seriously but anyways uh i have a i have a mesa boogie two by twelve as well and that thing is built uh, pretty fucking good, but the the arachnid, like, just, you feel it, it's denseness and heaviness, it's weight and everything, you just know it screams, like, quality, and it, you just know it's gonna fucking take a beating, because, um, yeah, it, it's, it's built sturdy. It's probably, ah, uh, shit. Yeah, but like probably like 110, 120 pounds. So I guess that would be something to consider if you're looking for a uh not so heavy 4x12. I don't know if that even makes sense cuz if you're looking for a 4x12, of course they're going to be you're you're not really carrying carry, carrying about weight. Um you're probably more interested in a 2x12 if you're concerned with weight, but um yeah. Uh, thank you all. Uh, hope you all uh, like and subscribe. And um, I don't really post frequently, but um, yeah, if you're interested in hearing this in a mix with two guitars, stereo tracks, and uh, some drums and bass, let me know. But um, hope you all have a great day, and thank you all for watching. See y'all later.